So uh, my first contact with YWE, the Young Woman Engineer Awards, was in 2015. I was working as a graduate engineer at Kondo. And I remember it being a very empowering evening. I think prior to that, I'd say most of the events I'd been to around women engineering was always talking about the challenges and all the problems that they had to do, which is very important and a key message. But I just felt sometimes I left feeling down, like, so there's no hope for me um, when I do become a professional engineer. Um, because I just want to do my job. I, I don't want to be a warrior fighting for my rights or at every intersection. So uh, yeah, that, that was the first event where I'd been to and it was, it was very celebratory. It was very positive and I felt empowered and inspired and it helped that the food was really good. It was at the park, I think it was the Park Plaza Hotel that year. And I just remember, oh, I was like, oh, the food is so good. They're like, oh, it's like, stop talking about the food. <laughs> and everybody I met, I just kept commenting. It was, it was really nice. It was a nice evening. There were men there as well. And so it wasn't just all women. So although women had the center role, which is not very common in most engineering related um, awards you'd go for. And I, I just had a fantastic evening. And I was like, you know what, maybe someday. Fast forward to 2016, our company, Kondo, they forwarded around the email saying the IIT YW Awards are open, you should go for it. And I remember starting an application and then I decided, no, I'm not gonna. So I withdrew my application and didn't enter in 2016. And then 2017 came along and I wasn't gonna enter this year. I had just given up already because I, I didn't genuinely didn't think I had achieved much in my early career to be claiming to be the Young Woman Engineer of the Year award winner. Like, what, what have you done? <laughs> um, I hadn't, I, I just started on a graduate program about two years into the graduate program or three years at that time. And so I felt I needed to do more projects and, and actually have a sound command of my discipline. And in 2017, I volunteered with the Association for Black and Ethnic Minority Engineers. And I met the chair, Nikkei Folaya. And it was one time, that was the first time I'd ever met her. And I, I volunteered as a panelist on one of the events they were running. And post the event, she sent me a link to the YWE award and said, Ozak, I really think you should go for this award because I think you could actually win it. And I, it just felt, wow. And so I think that was when I was like, okay, so this is independent opinion. This is not somebody who knows me who's trying to butter me up. It's, it's genuine opinion. And I was like still hesitant because I, I looked at the 2016 winner, Jenny. I was like, she's, she's, a, she's an astronaut. Like, that's beyond Earth. She's going to space now. And I, I build construction buildings on Earth. Like, literally, that's what I said to my colleague. Like, I, I, I think I'm going to have a pass. Like, um, and then Nikkei replied saying, if you don't do it for anything else, there's a £2,500 cash prize. So you might as well try out for that. And at that time, with the financial needs I had, I was like, say no more, say no more. <laughs> So when I submitted my application, obviously, um, you had to have an endorser. So it was no brainer who my endorser was. I asked Nikkei to write my endorsement letter and it was one of the stellar references I've ever had. In fact, that whole year, anytime I had like a self-doubt moment, I read the reference Nikkei wrote and instantly courage. I was filled with boldness <laughs> and motivated to crack on because it's, it was an objective. I sent her my CV and career history and, she, and based on what she knew of me and, and my time volunteering for AFBE, she was able to put together a reference and wow. Now, on the awards evening, when, so sorry, after the awards, I rewind, um, you get, I got an email saying I had been shortlisted. It was great, they didn't, they didn't make you wait for so long. It was within five days or four days of the interview. And he said I was a finalist and I couldn't believe it. I, I really couldn't believe it. And I remember it being a very happy day. I don't think, there are some days you never forget. I was so happy and I, I just wanted to share with everybody. It, at this point, it didn't matter to me if I won the award or not, but it did really boost my confidence, my self-confidence in myself. I had some confidence, but it took it to the next level. <laughs> uh, the next stage was the actual awards evening. 
Uh, it was really special when listening to the, the speeches by the, the guest speakers that they had. It was, it's just an uplifting evening. You feel very positive. It's a celebration of engineers who are women. <laughs> and, and I really like that about the YWE Award. And, I, and it's one of the reasons why I fancied winning it. And so when my name was called, I, I don't know, I've watched that clip so many times because it was like a silence almost in your, like, I knew it was me, I got up, but it was, I was hearing people clap, but it was in the distance. So, but yeah, it's, it's one of the best things that's happened to me. Um, over the years after winning the award, uh, a lot of um, public speaking and public engagement is one of the key points of, of, of winning the award. You become an ambassador for the IET. It's helped me expand my professional network in the UK and, and in Nigeria. Many opportunities have come for that. I had somebody asking to be my agent the other day um, because they want to represent me at like public speaking stuff. I was like, I didn't even know that that was a skill I had. Um, but it's through the exposure I've gotten from the awards. Um, and I, yeah, it's just been a great experience and I feel very, very privileged to have won it. And winning the award, you have to be switched on to what other women around you are experiencing in their roles who are not as fortunate as you to have your all almost lined up for you, have, have a, a, a nice manager, or have a nice that is just actually seeking for your best interests um, or, or supporting your best interests. So, yeah, it, it made me aware of, of those um, challenges and has also given me ideas on how you could tackle it. So by listening to other women in, through um, various events I attended throughout the year um, with their ideas that they have and, and speaking out about it because someday I'm going to be them. I want to have kids and I still want to pursue my career in engineering. So even though I'm not there yet now, um, I should be doing my bit to make sure that when I do get there, it's a straightforward path for myself and, and others that are also um, should I say, coming behind me. I'm really grateful for YWE Awards. I've said that so many times because I, I genuinely am. It's opened a whole loads of opportunities for me. I've, I've changed jobs since, since winning the awards. I'm, I'm working in research now. And I, I feel YWE had a part to play in my confidence to put myself forward for a role because it was quite a senior role. And in the past, I'd probably talk myself out of it and dismiss myself from putting myself forward for the position. But, you doubted YWE, getting YWE, you got it. So might as well try for this job, it's what you want to do. So I, I took that mentality and when I got the job, it was like, wow, I actually got the job. Um, so yeah, all positives to say about YWE. <laughs>